Creating the liquidity infrastructure for NFTs. That's the buzzword for Fract and Protocol. But they're actually taking a different approach from all the other fractionalized NFT protocols. In today's KuCoin DigiDive, we're gonna do a recap and we're going to go over the FT tokenomics. If you guys are new to the KuCoin DigiDive, you guys can subscribe to the channel and you guys can hit that bell notification. That way you guys are notified every time we make a new one. If you guys would like to go and get started trading with the FT token, links in the description below so you guys can get started and get 20% off trading fees. The brief summary on Fracton Protocol is that there are three tokens involved in this process. And the third token is actually what differentiates it than all the other fractionalized protocols. The first token you have is the ERC721. This is your actual NFT. So this could be your CryptoPunk, this could be your Bored Ape, this could be your Fidenza. These are the different NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain. Typically, these are the blue chip ones. That's why I say Ethereum. The second token you have is the ERC-1155. This is your blind box token. These are going to be the tokens that are the fractionalized portion of the NFT. These are not fungible with each other. In order to actually trade a fractionalized CryptoPunk and a fractionalized Bored Ape is you need to have the high token. And this is the differentiator for Fraction Protocol. They actually have a meta swap involved where you can swap into the high token and this high token can then swap for high CryptoPunks, high Bored Apes, high Fidenzas. There's different NFTs that are involved with the Fraction Protocol. And at any given time, if you get 1,000 of any of the blind box tokens for that particular NFT, you can actually use that to redeem for an actual ERC-721. This is your NFT, so you can cash out. The two main benefits from this is the first, that you can arbitrage between the different prices. You have more liquidity, whereas normally with an NFT, in order to arbitrage between these different prices, you have to sell the NFT and buy the new one. That could be a costly expense and there is low liquidity. There's not a lot of buyers out there who are ready to shell out hundreds of thousands of dollars. Whereas there's other buyers out there who would be willing to shell out a thousand, maybe $500 here and there. The second benefit is that it lowers the cost to entry. So if you wanted to buy that CryptoPunk and it's trading for $100,000, you would have to shell out a large amount of capital. Whereas with a fractionalized portion, you can have exposure to that asset class but not have to shell out a bunch of money. So that's the second benefit of that. And again, to summarize the difference between Fracton protocol and other NFT protocols is the three token model. So instead of just having ERC 721s and the ERC 1155s, they actually take it a step further to where you have the ERC 20. The ERC 20 is just a normal token on the Ethereum blockchain. And this differentiates it from all the other protocols is that you now have a more fungible token that allows you to swap between a high CryptoPunk, which is your ERC-20, and a high Bored Ape token. So it allows you to swap between, let's say, Bored Ape and CryptoPunk. Whereas the process without the ERC-20 is that you have to take your Black Box tokens or your People's tokens, which are the ERC-1155s, and use that to get the NFT, sell the NFT, repurchase a portion of the black box into the specified NFT you want. So it's a much longer process instead of just a switch swap because the ERC-20 tokens are able to have deeper liquidity and being able to be paired with USDT and ETH. Make sure you guys check out the previous KuCoin DigiDive so you can get a more in-depth description on what the protocol is doing. Also, like we mentioned in the previous DigiDive, is that they are partnering with KuCoin. So now you can make these investments on a centralized exchange and buy these different NFTs with the USDT pair. The FT token is coordinated with the non-fungible crew. The non-fungible crew is basically the governance over the protocol. The FT token will have a total supply of 100 million tokens. So this is the breakdown of the token. 14% is going to be as incentives, 17% as funding, 54% in the treasury, 5% for advisors and 10% are going to the team. So if you want to be a part of the non-fungible crew, there are actually 10,000 different PFPs. In the future, Guardians mode will be enabled and this will allow new fundraising rounds to occur. Also a part of governance, they are going to manage the treasury proceeds. So if there are airdrops from other NFTs, for example, like Bored Ape, when they did their Ape token airdrop, 
This is actually through governance and they organize the distribution. Some other fees you need to know about the FT token will charge a 0.2% fee for each of the transactions with the board ape on chain. Of course, there are going to be other NFTs as well, so it will pertain to those as well. There's also a 0.3% reverse tax when you swap between the high board ape tokens and the people's board ape in order to redeem for the actual NFT. So let's go ahead and summarize some of the governance rules for the FT token holders. The first is adding trading pairs with new NFT collections. The second is managing the board apes in the protocol. The third is managing the treasury vault. And fourth is looking for new marketplace partners. As for the goals of the Fracton protocol, the first is to have the most top collections for their trading pairs. This would be like board apes, this would be CryptoPunks, this would be the sandbox, this would be other deeds, just to name a few. They also want to involve more partners in the ecosystem. This could be like layer ones, layer twos, deploying Mo guardians to expand to other sexes and dexes. And lastly is to function as a decentralized permissionless protocol. To have this run as a DAO, this will be through a vote escrow model, as well as a curator system through the non-fungible crew. So there are some other tokens expected to be on KuCoin as well. This has to do with the high sand, which is going to be trading against USDT. This will be on KuCoin soon. You also have Coda in USDT. This will be on KuCoin as well. And then you have the ENS names on KuCoin. These are going to be different high tokens you can trade with on KuCoin. Again, links in the description below and you guys can get 20% off trading fees for that. Now, as for the listing of the FT token, this will be happening on August 11th. So if you guys would like to get started trading with the FT token, you guys can start trading on August 11th. I hope you guys enjoyed this KuCoin DigiDive. Let's go ahead and hit you guys with a wisdom one-liner. Proverbs chapter 12, verses four. A wife of noble character is her husband's crown, but a disgraceful wife is like decay in his bones. Whew, that's rough. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the KuCoin DigiDive. If you guys would like to see some of our previous videos, there's one here, 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 and like there. And if you guys would like to stay up to date, make sure you guys subscribe to the KuCoin YouTube channel and tell me what you think of Fraction Protocol. We'll see you guys in the next one.